Marvel Legends fans and collectors, welcome back to another one of these Spider-Man awesome figure reviews. I'm, 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 look at the size of this thing. It's so heavy. I'm, I'm pumped to get this thing. Really, really excited about this one. I know it's been out for a couple of, couple of months now over in the US and other uh, parts of the world, but this one's with the lizard that I just reviewed is we're only really just hitting, um, hitting shores here in Australia now, but you know, I've got almost all of these now. Um, I just need to get Ben Riley and Hammerhead. Um, but yeah, I do, I have picked up the rest of those. Ben Riley's probably the one I'm, I don't know, humming and harring about. I don't know if I'd, it's one I really need, but you know what, if, it, if it's on clearance and it's on sale enough, I will grab it. Uh, Hammerhead, I do want to get, so apparently he's a bit of a sleeper. Um, the figure's a lot better than people are giving it credit for. And there are plenty of them around, so it's not going to be difficult to pick him up at some point. Uh, in the near future. So yeah, the there's a picture of Rhino on the top. Former Russian Mafia muscle, the Rhino possesses immense strength, near impregnable exo armor, and a stubborn grudge against Spider-Man. Back there we show that he has swap out hands and a switch out head, which is all clear from the front of the packaging. But um, yeah. It's so big, I've had to sort of pick up my phone and stand back and film this bit. So let's uh, let's open him up and have a look. All right, this is a beast of a figure. I'm digging it big time. <laughs> this is the first Rhino I've ever had. Um, I think I might, maybe I had one at some point. I can't remember. If I did, it's been a while. Um, but yeah, maybe I haven't had a Rhino in the past. You know, I've, I've sort of collected Marvel Legends and sold them off so many times that um, it's hard to remember what I have and haven't have and haven't had over the years. But um, you know, I'm, I'm I'm excited to have this one. I like I like the classic sort of Rhino with the with the dude in a suit. <laughs> I don't know. It's just but the way they've sort of painted this is well sculpted. The paint yeah, it's it could use a little bit more detail and weathering, I think, but. Uh, the sculpt was really nice. He was really gone for that sort of warty, rocky rhino skin all throughout. And it looks good. I've done a good job. Again, he's got his fists, which I'll probably keep him with. But he does have the option of, you know, switch out hands. Why this one has a trigger finger, I don't know. <laughs> Could be used for something else. I, I really don't know. Yeah, you know, unless you're going to have him like holding Spider-Man up by the head or something, you know, that would that would work. That would fit in there. Let's try. Yeah, so you could have him, you know, holding Spider-Man by the head. Which isn't a very nice thing to do, but he is a villain. So we also have the swap out head. Slightly more serious face. Do like the little rhino eyes on the side there. Nice thick peg, that's not gonna damage or go anywhere. So that's cool. I do want to see if it is quite an easy switch to do. Not too bad, not too bad. So yeah, I'll put that one in for the remainder of the video. But yeah, I'll probably put the other one back in. Uh, articulation seems to be all right. Um, got all the bit bells and whistles. You know, in terms of the size of the figure. You know, he's probably about the same size as the recent Hulk that came out. Pretty close. You know, just, just sort of holding him. Maybe Hulk's legs were a little bit longer. Um, thought it, if he was sort of squashed in a little bit, uh, maybe, you know, a little bit taller. A little bit sort of too, I don't know. That's just how I'm looking at him right now. But yeah, it's cool. I like him. He's got, you know. You know, they've done a pretty good job considering the the size of this guy. I'm sure there's uh, better Rhino figures out there that have come out in the past. But, um, you know, as far as my collection goes, I'm pretty happy with this one. Get him really charging. I was never really into the the idea of the mechanized suit they sort of went with for the Amazing Spider-Man 2 film. Um, 
yeah, it was probably going to work okay for the series if it continued on, but, you know, I've always liked, I don't know, there's a little bit of whimsy to it, I guess. See, so yeah, a good movement in the head, yeah, side to side, which looks good. Good up and down. Good range, nice tight joints. You know, he has a pretty hulking figure, no pun intended. But yeah, I'm very, very excited to have this guy in the collection because he's gonna make the Spider-Man uh, Rogues Gallery shelf a little bit fuller. <laughs> Let's just say that. But yeah, I'm sort of I'm in the process of sort of putting together a little few of a uh, few more of the uh, Spider-Man Rogues in Marvel Legends. I'm sort of going for some of the sort of more recent ones as opposed to trying to get older versions. Um, but you know, we'll see how that goes as 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 it happens. You know, I have missed a couple from this particularly this retro wave that um you know going for a pretty penny now like green goblin um i do have an older goblin which is fine um yeah and there's a couple others uh whether i want to choose to go and get them I, I, i'm not sure yet but um i'm pretty happy with this guy do a side to side with uh spider-man there so you can kind of get a get an idea of how big this guy actually is so that's kind of cool. I'm just liking this figure, man. It's it's awesome. He's a nice chunky boy. A little bit of a gap there on the back where you can sort of see that joint ends, but you know, probably not often going to do that. And if you are, you're gonna look at him from the front anyway, so not a big deal. Doesn't move back. The swivel of the waist there, you know, all the joints in the legs. Single big joint in the knees. Big hoof and foot joint there, which is cool. And yeah, that's that is Rhino. A pretty solid figure, if you ask me. I'm loving it. I'm really excited. And you've got the lizard to go with him as well, which I've just reviewed as well. So yeah, putting together a bit of a team here. So yeah, appreciate you checking it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hit the subscribe button, Hit, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you in the next, next another video.